Hello everyone and welcome to PLC Ladder Simulator 2. The first thing that you can do is to assign a name tag to a variable. So in, so in that way you can easily access that variable when you want to add that variable to a, a contact or a coil or, or a function block. So to do this you go to the input file in this case because I'm going to add a name tag for two inputs. So we select the variable that we're going to add we want to add the name tag, select the tag field, and we add the name, and we hit save. And we do the same for the other variable. Okay, then what you can see is that this contact now has the variable, the, the variable name tag start. So we're going to do the same for the coil. So we open the output file and select the variable. We are going to add the name motor, save, and here we have. Okay, then you can add a sub run. To add it, select the sub run and then hit the place that you want to add it, like that. But maybe you're not like happy with that uh, sub run, maybe it's too long. So. We need to delete the sovereign, so we press the sovereign for three seconds and then we hit the, the yes button and we do the same but with a different size. So we, we're gonna do it like this. Yes. Then we're gonna add a contact. To add a contact, you select the contact and, play, and select the place that you wanna add that contact. We select the, the tag. Because we're gonna we want to find the variable very fast so we're gonna add more okay and then add we're gonna add other contact over here we're gonna select other file or other variable from other file and we're gonna add other contact over here and we can add whatever we want but oh no, that was not the variable that I want to add. So to edit an object, in this case a contact, or any object on PLC2, you just need to double tap the object and hit the yes button so you can change that value. So we're gonna change the variable to stop. Okay. And we need to delete this contact. So hit select the contact for three seconds and we hit the yes button to delete it. Now we hit the play button here to start the simulation and as you can see the, the, the design is working. But what if you want to change these switches to push button? So you stop the simulation, go to the IO manager, select the two inputs that you want to change and select the compound type, component type push bottom and do the same for the other one hit save bottom close the IO manager and then we start again the simulation and as you can see now we have push bottoms as simple as that but PLC ladder simulator 2 is not only contacts and coils. You can also add more complex functions and with that build more complex things like add a move function and doing just like a test you can add whatever you want according to your design and add more stuff but it is simple to add objects everywhere so for example if I want to add a function between the first and the second run so just select the other object that you want to add and then select the space between the, those two rungs and, and then you can add the, that new that new function as simple as that and the same for deleting if you are not pleased with that clear function just select the object for three seconds and then delete that function so i highly recommend you to follow the help tutorial that is available in the help section of the app so here you can find everything you need to know about the app and how to use it 
things like how to read an analog input or how to write to analog output, how to use external interrupts and much more. So please read it. If you have any questions or doubts, please contact me. I'll be very happy to reply to your questions.